Hello. So, um, we are starting today on a new LP. Uh, going back a fair bit to King's Quest VIII, The Mask of Eternity. And, um, first off is that I would very much like to show you the intro, but it actually changes resolutions when it does that, and, uh, Fraps doesn't like that at all, and it just doesn't work at all. Uh, so unfortunately, we're gonna have to give that one a pass. Uh, sorry to say. This is kind of loud, too. Uh, hold on a second. Let's just, uh, maybe keep the speech volume high so we can hear what people are saying. Okay, yeah, I think that's better. Um, anyway, all you basically need to know is that, um... Everything is going nice in the Kingdom of Daventry until up in some temple in the sky some guy breaks a mask and the pieces go all over the place and then we see our uh, hero dude and all, all of a sudden a black wind blows over the land and everyone turns to stone and he's like, no! And that's how the intro goes. Um, anyway. Uh, so let's just get right into the game. Uh, I did do a quick test run, and I found that normal difficulty was pretty handleable, so I'm gonna stick with that, because I'm not afraid of nothing. Except maybe hard difficulty. <clears throat> By the virtues! What vile magic has invaded Daventry? And what is this? Welcome everyone to the graphics of 1998. Uh, yeah, the uh, pol uh, polygon count did not exactly age well here. Be gone, Raven. Leave her be. So anyway, um, hmm. whither does it fly? So I guess I should establish a few things here since we're kind of launching in. Um, basically, uh, if you don't know. Um, King's, King's Quest is a series of point-and-click adventure games that were popular in the 90s, and I think uh, it goes back to the 80s. I didn't do, like, deep research or anything. I know not the evil which enslaves you, Sarah, but I vow its defeat and the deliverance of your sweet soul. Um, I know not the evil whoops, which enslaves okay. you, Sarah, but I vow its defeat and the deliverance of your sweet soul. Um... By the time King's Quest VIII was rolling around, um, the adventure, point-and-click adventure games were actually not doing so hot. Um, in fact, you could say that um, a lot of the adventure games at the tail end of that era sucked. Um, and so Roberta Williams, the creator of King's Quest and a lot of uh, adventure games of that era, kind of decide to jump ship, and this game is nothing like any of those games at all. Um, Widow Burke, I pledge my life that both you and Sarah will walk our fair land once again. And pretty much, um, this copy um, is actually, I actually do own the CD, although I did have to find a special installer, because this game does not play well with modern operating systems. Um, and this copy of the CD was actually bought by my mom, who was a huge fan uh, of the games at the time, and she bought this one and was severely disappointed by it, but uh, it happened to be pretty much uh, right up my alley in terms of being a 10-year-old kid who played Nintendo games. Um, and so part of this is actually my quest to discover if this game actually is decent as I remember or if it sucks, um, which it might. Um, and this game actually has a lot of RPG elements as you'll see. Uh, I have a level and an experience bar um, and I will fight monsters. And in fact, uh, that guy over there um, will take pot shots at you with his crossbow, which is why I'm kind of steering clear of the, the uh, 
Your crossbow is no match against this evil power. I shall not stop until you are free to walk once again. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else that I need to cover. Uh, I'm less up on the history of this game than E.G. just because, uh, it's much older and I was a ten-year-old kid who didn't know nothing at the time it was made. Um, the other thing is that we will see graphical glitches, um, as you can see with this poor guy here. Uh, being half stone is not a glitch. He's supposed to look like that. Um, and I can actually fix it by fiddling with the resolution, but I think doing that will kind of break up the pace of the video and might make Fraps unhappy. So I'm going to ignore them and see how that shakes out, but if it gets to be distracting, uh, I may look into some other solution. Anyway, we have met the exposition wizard, so I will uh, not hold us up any longer. Hello? You're still alive. But twould seem only half so. I am a wizard, lad. A very good one. I knew the vile tempest was approaching and swiftly conjured a countering spell. Although, as you can see, it wasn't enough. Tell me, good wizard. What was the Tempest's nature? T'was a magic of darkness. The mask of eternity has suffered a terrible fate. T'was destroyed by an evil entity, which has since taken up quarters in the mask's sanctum sanctorum. The mask of eternity? Aye, lad. The mask of truth, light, and order. Now it lies in five fragments. Scattered separately across the land. Five? Well, twas five. I can but tell that Connor is one. been chosen as the that hero for his four. great intelligence. Sounds! Indeed. <laughs> How uh, chaos reigns, and the vile spirits who rule the elements are free to cause mayhem o'er the land. Mortals like you now find themselves trapped within rocks and stones. But you, lad, have been chosen to perform the sacred task of finding the remaining four pieces of the Mask of Eternity and returning the Mask to its most holy sanctuary. The Mask itself, t'would seem, has chosen you. I am honored to perform such a noble quest, but where do I begin? Tis, my friend, for you to discover. I know no more. I can, however, conjure you a magic map which will aid you in travel throughout the land. Behold! I am only a wizard of exposition. In order to see what comes ahead, you'll have to find a wizard of having read the script. Sorry, I Connor, we couldn't draw sir. fingers My yet. My destiny is clear. I shall prevail. Yeah, I might find myself uh, playing Mystery Science Theater here a little bit because uh, the, di the I dialogue... I my two fists to fight. Right. Uh, the dialogue is pretty over the top uh, at times. They, they really kind of uh, get into the uh, old-timey speech. Whence came these foul creatures? This is madness! This is... Yeah, okay, you know that one. Um... One thing I've also found um, is that uh, when you kill monsters, uh, stuff will fly out of them, loot. Um, don't kill monsters in water because um, the water is not transparent and the loot will fall in the water and you will never see it again. Uh, you can trust me on this one. Um, so you may be wondering uh, what's all going on at the bottom here. Um, basically we've got, um, your armor, your, uh, fists, or your, uh, melee weapon. I'm glad I have this cursor. I can, I can actually point to things on the screen. It's fantastic. Um, and you have a ranged weapon, which, um, two. I, I don't have a ranged weapon, but my ranged weapon has an attack of two. That's very strange. Um... And then you have items, uh, consumable items. The first four are, oops, uh, the first four are healing items in order of strength. 
uh, we'll only be seeing the first two of first, the mushrooms and the crystals. And then we have uh, potions that give you temporary buffs. Um, I think this one is... Actually, I can right-click it and have Connor tell us. This potion will help shield me against all attacks. That's pretty nifty, actually. Uh, and then you got my health bar, experience bar. Um, we'll see what this item is eventually, and I don't know what this is. And this is our magic map, which, as you can see, is magic. Um, and I'm also going to be uh, saving frequently here. Um... What should I name my save? There we go. Uh, because this is this is one of those games where you can kind of die really unceremoniously. Um, it is a long jump, but I can make it. Like yeah, like right here. If you if you botch this jump, you could just fall. This is just like Connor falls 20 feet and breaks his neck, um, and then that's it. So yeah, uh, if you don't, if you haven't saved recently, you're kind of out of luck here. Um, so here we can get on top of the mausoleum, and uh, this is a trick it took me a long time to figure out when I was first playing the game. But you can basically uh, just go ahead and jump this guy right off and steal his crossbow. Was the little uh, Midair roll really necessary? Oh well. Oh yeah, and then we have zombies. Come on. You're really losing focus here, dude. I ask you, would you eat that? I guess Connor would. Um, when I was younger, the zombies really freaked me out. And it pretty much comes down entirely to that sound they make when they first crawl out of the ground. Um, the fact that the zombies can't be seen until they do emerge from the ground with that really kind of gross, slimy sound um, gives them a real unsettling quality. Um, but as you can see, uh, the zombies themselves are not the most competent of enemies. Um, but healing mushrooms do fly out of them when they die. So that's good, I think. It's so gross. Um, I should note, um, that, um... This is not a horror game. Uh, I know, right? You could be uh, forgiven for thinking otherwise. Um, but the rest of the game is not like this. The whole dark, you've got zombies crawling out of the ground, and creepy music. The whole game is not like this. Um, I don't know what exactly the aim was, where kind of the opening tone of the game is this really horror-oriented setting um, where it is really creepy um, and in fact um, the creepiness is kind of what was, what was holding me back um, when I was trying to play this game at first and I actually got through it a lot better once uh, once I got out of Daventry um, and uh, but then, and you don't want to you want to know where we're going next? Uh, I'll just tell you right away. Um, the second area of the game is the dimension of death. We are actually going uh, straight from here to hell, pretty much. Uh, well, not hell exactly. I guess it's a generic underworld, but it, it's hell. It, um, and the funny thing is that the dimension of death. I wouldn't necessarily call it a horror-oriented setting, like. Uh, like Daventry is, um, and you'll see that for yourself. Um, but I've always really thought uh, that the Dimension of Death, um, the the styling of it, was really cool. Um, it w it's kind of more of almost like a fantasy dungeon where you do have skeletons running around, but they're not like horror skeletons; they're more like fantasy skeletons. Uh, although I think they do have like eyeballs in their sockets. Um, I think I might actually punch this zombie out because they are not—they don't have a lot of resilience. These guys. 
Um, and so I've kind of been just like clearing out zombies here. And uh, I do have an end goal with this. I'm not just killing zombies for kicks. Although killing zombies for kicks does kind of sound like a good time. Um, there's actually two reasons to kill these zombies. And well, I guess three. One is um, for all the mushrooms that fly out of them. Um, I think that almost half of our supply of magic mushrooms has now come out of zombies, so that is just charming, isn't it? Um, I really don't know if if we're playing with any kind of real realism here, um, it would be probably, uh, not a wise idea to eat a zombie. If we were playing NetHack here, NetHack would punish you for eating mushrooms that came out of a zombie. Um, I'm meandering a little bit. But, uh, the other thing is that I want to read the gravestones, because I remember there are some amusing gravestones. Where is, where is that one? Oh, oh, hey there. Um... But yeah. So, um... You'd think we'd get all of them, but there's actually a couple more. Uh, I guess these are the guys who couldn't afford to have an actual gravestone. I don't know, maybe they never uh, gave very much when they passed the collection plate around during uh, in church. When they died, the church was like, ah, screw those guys. Okay, okay. It's not my most efficient move to uh, shoot a zombie with a crossbow at point blank range. But I do like the crossbow because it's, uh, unless you're fighting enemies that literally fall apart as you punch them, um, you are gonna get hurt trading blows, uh, in melee. But anyway, uh, let's put away our, uh, fists, uh, and take a look at some of these gravestones. Julia Crawford, oh, hast thou forgotten this day we must part? It may be for years, and it may be forever. Can we read the, uh, tombs? Do they have anything written on them? I guess not. They're just decorative. I guess you don't need a, uh... Po poignant, uh... bit of text on your grave when you're rich enough to afford an entire stone box for your body. Lady Helen Blackwood Mahaffey. But the heart that is truly loved never forgets but as truly loves on to the close. That's really poetic. It's a shame I just finished, like, uh, tearing these bodies a new one. Squire Bickerstaff Waitley. Alack, he's gone the way of all flesh. Uh, crawling out of the ground and trying to consume the living? Bridget, mm -hmm. Samuel, and Combsill. In Daventry three saints one grave do fill. Oh crap, is there three of them in here? I, I think it's rhetorical. I don't know. Arthur Singe. She is far from the land where her hero sleeps, and lovers around her are sighing. But coldly she turns from their gaze and weeps, for her heart in his grave is lying. It's a lot Jesse of these. Leonard. My grandmother made dying her life's work. <laughs> Jonathan Burke. It's only a little cold I have. There's nothing really wrong with me. Did they put text on all of these? I think the they might have. Drunk. When money's tight and is hard to get, and your horse has also ran, when all you have is a heap of debt, a pint of plain is your only man. Did they put an advertisement on that guy's grave? Father O'Flynn. Of priests we can offer a charming variety far renowned of Lanan and piety. Still I'd advance ye, without impropriety. Father O'Flynn as the flower of them all. Andrew Cherry. I am not so great a fool as you take me for. 
I have been bitten once, and I will never give anyone an opportunity of taking two bites of a cherry. <laughs> oh my god. John West Proust. All's over then. I wonder whose names these are. Like, did they... I could see them, like, putting the names of the developers on, With all my on will, here. Much against my heart, we too now part. Uh, I think there are places that have done that. Put the developers' Mason. names on the graves. Oh, stony gray soil of Daventry, the laugh from my love you thieved. I'll never take two bites from a cherry. Jesus. That's, that's rich. Robert Gunn. Thou sayest farewell and lo, I have thee by the hand, and I will not let thee go. Of course, the funny thing is that they all use the same texture. I can't really read it, though. I guess they don't use the exact same texture, but some of them do repeat. Brian and Martha Lynn. Brian Lynn and his wife, and wife's mother, they all crossed over the bridge together. The bridge broke down, and they all tumbled in. We'll go home by water, said Brian Lynn. Who writes this stuff? Widow Fergus. She isn't speaking to her son-in-law, Brian Lynn, anymore. <laughs> wow. I don't know if you guys are entertained or bored by me uh, looking at all these gravestones, and but this is Whitman. gold, I think. Chased to her husband, Frank to all beside, a teeming mistress, but a barren bride. I'm not sure I follow that. Hold on. Anne Cooper Whitman. Chased to her. I think that. Oh, that's a terrible thing to put on someone's grave. Enid Burns. A fond kiss, and then we sever. A farewell, and then forever. Whoa! This is why you gotta be thorough, people. Man, I thought I got all of them. Another dead person mushroom? I read this one, right? Oh, that'll just make me punch the... Sir crazy. Charles Teasdale. Lie still, lie still, my breaking heart. My silent heart. Lie still and break. S. N. Wendell. I have had just about all I can take of myself. You know, they put a lot of work into this. Every single one of these gravestones has a message. And you'll bet most people won't even read them. Hmm. hmm. Oh, okay. Every single one except this one, I guess. That's really weird. Okay, all of them but one. John West. Yeah, okay, so I got all of them. Yeah, that's interesting. They put every single, and they gave a name to every single person in this, every one person with a gravestone, I guess. Yeah, that's, that's funny. Um, but anyway, we probably should get back on track, huh? Uh, that is the wrong button. Boing. Why does the music get so intense? I don't get that. I mean, sure, it's creepy, but you've got to, like, this is music for when I'm being chased by demons or something. The God. It's gonna give me like high stress levels here or something. Oh, whatever. Uh, we have not seen the last of zombies though. Um, we'll definitely see more of those wandering about. And I think you get a little bit of experience by punching this. Pretty, pretty negligible, but I think you get one from punching this one too, or maybe you have to shoot it. I don't think I, uh, oh, well, there you go. Yeah, you do get experience rewards for things other than killing monsters, although killing monsters does make up quite the bulk of your uh, experience. Thank heavens, my own dwelling. Although I should check for intruders. I'm not entirely sure what's causing the graphical bugs. Um, it seems like it's some kind of shading area er error. 
because you can see how it kind of changes with the angle like it's kind of almost like a weird light being shined on the object um it seems like what's happening is that some object is using a particular ah, my other dagger. texture um and i don't i don't really know why that's happening um i'm sure it probably has something to do with just the interactions of the game with the operating system or something, I don't know. Uh, and Connor's got it. It's not really a big deal, I think. Um, these things are so intent on fighting me, but they're really weak. Um... Can I explore this way? Where does this go? Of course I've forgotten what the map looks like now that I've finished going through it all. Um... Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Remember what I said about the crossbow? This is where that comes in handy. Um, but I like how, uh... Oh, chap. Seems the alchemist tried securing his house, but couldn't save himself. I like how there's little text blurbs for all the, uh, the people you see that have been turned to stone. Um, kinda, it, it makes them feel more like individual people, although it's hard to tell from the really blocky textures. Um, it's kind of an interesting, an interesting detail they've added. Um... So I, th I think I'm going to save again. Uh, I should just get in the habit of saving a lot. Because, um... Oops. It would really be a shame if I had to kind of go back in the middle of a recording. Stuff like that. Uh, you know, dying and then going back to the beginning. Just put this away. I'm actually curious what Connor has to say about all my inventory items. A crystal with healing properties. A mushroom with curative properties. I have a small handheld crossbow. I carry a fine dagger. I do not yet possess any protective armor. You will live to walk the green land of Daventry once more. I promise you that. Wretched fellow. The plight of the good people of Daventry is almost more than I can bear. I must help them. Poor Julia. You were there for me when I had troubles, and now you need me. I shall persevere until you are freed from this horrendous evil. Aye, leather gloves will surely help. I know Julia will allow me the use of her gold. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure she will. Uh, and her gloves. At least he's kind of trying to come up with a justification for looting his uh, friend's stuff. Trust me, we're pretty much going to uh, rob this whole town blind because uh, I do want to stock up on healing items, and a lot of people have just random useful items lying around. As you would imagine from an adventure game. Ooh, there's another one. Stand still, why don't you? Monster AI is not at its best here. Hey, hey. You know what you you know what I said about water. So what like three items, coins. It landed right on top of the fence post. Not bad. If something fall in his body, a mushroom maybe. Mm. <clears throat> um. 
There might be something useful in these barrels. How exactly did shooting it just make the items fly into the air? I don't know. Joseph, my friend, you and I have toiled side by side. You are a good man, and I shall persevere to free you from this evil imprisonment. So anyway, um, so actually getting on track with, um, and I've, I've rearranged the keys and forgotten what I did with them. Getting back on track in what I'm actually supposed to be doing, um, the first thing that we need is an axe. Um, and we may as well just stop by here. If you want to know why we can't leave town, um, this is why. The road to Castle Daventry is blocked. How can I travel there? Actually, I can get to Castle. Wait, is that the only exit from town? And how? Hmm. Um. Yeah. Uh, basically, we can't get out of here. We gotta go through um, a dimension of death. I, I I love how that's the the immediate plan B is traveling to the dimension of death. And once again, we are going to be bolstering our supply of curative items from things that came out of dead people. Come on, I know there's... Oh, right next to me. That hasn't happened before. They came out sooner last time. Yeah, I knew you were coming, so you can't scare me. Take this. Zombie crotch shots. What, I'm a totally mature gamer. You don't believe me, do you? Um, okay, let's see. The healing crystal came out of the zombie. So one of them had a healing crystal in it. Well, what was the zombie doing with a healing crystal? Did someone... I don't know, stuff it in there and the off chance it might bring him back to life? Mushroom. I, uh, I really don't know. Oh yeah, um, we'll come back here later, um, it's just for the best. I'm gonna be exploring this area and reaping the fruits of my inability to remember where anything is. But uh, right now, right now, our goal really is, um, I keep doing that. It changed the jump key to E. So it would be easier for me to to uh, reach it, but I keep forgetting I changed it. Um, but yes, we are acquiring an axe. The axe will do many things for us. Uh, in addition to being better than the dagger, water. In addition to being better than the dagger, um, one important thing that it will also do is hey there, whatchama call it get, get, get over there I don't know what these things are called I know that the uh, yellow ones are called spriggans but I don't remember what these things are called they're really barely worth noting because they're so weak I think that we need to get the X up there mr. Kavanaugh I am sickened by your plight I promise to do all I can to save you from further torment Want to see some completely out of place random humor? I know you do. And save. What's behind door number one? Lovely. Terribly undignified, and we shall never speak of it again. The store doesn't close. There's zombies back here. Some zombies are just buried in people's backyards. But I don't remember which backyards. So we're just gonna, I'm gonna forget all about it, and then all of a sudden I'll be wandering around in some guy's backyard, and boom, zombie. It's gonna suck. Not really. Uh, the zombies are really not that strong. Lit 
We don't have all day, Connor. Poor woman. It must be torture for her. I must do all I can to free her. Wait, it must be torture. Are they still conscious inside of the rocks? That sucks. Hmm. A child's drawings. It's really not ever made entirely clear if people have been petrified or if they are just trapped inside of... I guess the wizard did say they're trapped inside of rocks and stones. Um, so we're getting into some kind of really disturbing territory here. That guy's texture is really screwed up. I think, yeah, the other one's coming. Jeez. Um, another, another thing you might notice is that this game is, um, has some really kind of Mortal Kombat level violence in it, um, which was not really a part of the series previously. Um, the, as, as I said, uh, Roberta Williams has commented on the game saying, basically that it was kind of intended to appeal to the uh, action gamer set. Um, and in some, in some ways, um, the developers have really taken kind of a condescending approach to, to the development of the game and the people that they're trying to appeal to with kind of a really, uh, whoa, shit. Okay, that was uh, not my best handled situation. I uh, I forgot about that guy. Um, but yeah, they they kind of really um, took took a uh, approach to where they made it a lot more kind of lowbrow, um, and they had this whole thing about how um, there's keys for look up, and I don't remember what what it is. Oh well. Um, and they, I, I read a quote from Roberta Williams that basically said that, uh, the, the, the kind of game, uh, point and click adventure games they made at the time are too, too highbrow and literary for the modern, uh, Neanderthal action gamer, and so we're going to make a game that is more fitting to their lowbrow sensibilities. Um, really condescending stuff and it really doesn't make any sense because the kind of people who are gonna play um, you know Mortal Kombat aren't the people who are playing um, pointless adventure games anyway something's happening that's pretty cool the mask piece hand it over by whose authority, sir? Enough talk. Give it here. Or fight for it then. On guard. This guy obviously wasn't hired for his diplomatic skills. Varmint. Whence came he to Daventry? Despicable Varmint. That's a good one. Um, okay, the camera's getting a bit fussy here. Apparently it can't actually go through solid objects, which can lead to some awkwardness at times. It's this. This potion will increase my strength during battle. Thank you, Connor. Um... I think I'm going to save, because we've made some progress here. Yeah, I'm try trying not to uh, hold back on the saving, because it really is important. Anyway, um, I think I kind of uh, trailed off when I talked about the purpose of the eggs. Um, I'm kind of a little bit distant from the... Uh, 
moment to moment actions that I am doing here. Um, and I should I should keep you informed about what I what what the purpose is of what I'm doing. Um, the axe will actually let us chop things up. Um, things other than monsters, in fact, it will let us chop wood. For example, you saw the alchemist's place, um, which was boarded up. We can chop down those boards. Um, but more importantly, um, well, um, it's it's actually a solution to one of the. Um, I, I'm not sure if I should call it a puzzle. Um, puzzle is use axe on object. Um, but it's, uh, it's, we need it for, to, to progress. And I will show you, what's, what's the button for that again? I shift. Um, and now we can go ahead and loot. Loot away. Loot, loot, loot. <laughs> Um, so you may be wondering, what is the scroll I just picked up? Actually, I was wrong. We do get another, uh, higher level healing. The elixir of life possesses valuable healing properties. Nice. We're not going to be using that for a while. Um, the lower level healing items will do us pretty well for a while. Um, in fact, we don't even really need to use the, uh, crystal in, except in emergencies, as you saw during the battle, with the, uh, henchmen. Anyway, um, so the item I just got... A scroll of magical instruction for a spell of might. It says... Permanent spell of might. Need. A morsel of giant golden mushroom. A blue adamant. The tongue of a basilisk. Combine these under the blast... Oops. Oh, uh, yeah, under the blast of a lightning bolt. Um... So what is that, um, you may ask? Um, this is not going to become relevant for quite a while longer. Um, basically we're gonna keep this for quite a while, and much, much later in the game we will actually be able to get together all of the items we need, which is in fact an optional thing. Um, you don't have to do it, but you can. Um, but it's it's not necessary to do so. I probably will try the because I mean permanent potion of might. That sounds pretty badass. And you can kill farm animals. Why? Ooh, there is some. See, what did I tell you? These zombies are even weaker. No doubt the people of Daventry, when I finally saved us, to be like, Hooray, we have been returned to life! Holy shit, there's dead bodies everywhere! Who's gonna clean this mess up? Now, I, the pig's death is also very strange. I still don't get that. It just bursts like a blood-filled balloon. What in the fuck? I really don't know. Did I talk to this guy? Farmer Sims, even you? I vow to you with every fiber of my being that you shall work your fields once again. Even you, Farmer Sims. The powerful enchantments protecting you have been broken. I don't get that. Should it, would he expect Farmer Sims to have some particular protection against dark magic? Mm. Under these trying circumstances, I'm sure <laughs> these good people will understand my present need for their gold. Under these trying circumstances, yeah, I'm sure yeah, yeah. these good people will understand my present need for their gold. You shall see the light of day once more, good wife Sims. I swear it. And they will understand my need for their mushrooms. I'm sure when they wake up, they won't need to eat. Even a poor babe in a cradle. I've got to stop this, to undo this, this evil. Ah, here we are. These leather boots will help me immeasurably. And by immeasurably, I mean by a few points of defense. Yeah. Um, let's see. Okay. We probably should get a move on. And, ooh, healing items. 
This game does give you plenty of things to distract yourself with. Um, but I do want to stock up, because healing items are important. You run out, you're kind of shit out of luck. But anyway, um, so let us give a quick examination of our dilemma here. I could use that rope and hook. You certainly could, Connor. But how will we acquire it? There's a big old grinding wheel in the way. Well, how about we go ahead and chop down this here tree? Yep, one chop. All it took. I guess it must have been a prop tree. Is that actually right? The way the wheel was spinning... Was it going... No, I guess... I guess that's right. I guess it's just hard to tell because the water doesn't have any visible flow. Mushrooms. The uh, footstep sound for the river is slightly buggy, as you can tell. Um, one thing I was going to mention is that apparently this game is actually very buggy. Um, while I was looking up information on how to get it running, I saw a lot of complaints that it was very... That there are a lot of problems that crop up. And the funny thing is that uh, in the time of my youth when I played this game, um, I didn't actually have that much trouble with it. Uh, I don't really remember running into any bugs. Uh, people were talking about really bad ones. Uh, crash bugs when you enter certain areas. Um, which I'm sure now that I'm doing a recording for all of you to watch, I'm sure I'll see every single one of them. Uh, you can bet on that. It'll be really awesome if the game crashes in the middle of uh, doing something. Hey, have I saved recently? <laughs> um, the rope and hook is a pretty important item because um, it is actually the next step to getting further along. But it'll also let us sneak into a few other areas. Um, that are effectively optional, but that will definitely help us out. Uh, there's a lot of optional stuff in here. Uh, unless something is actually required for moving forward, it should probably be assumed that it's optional, because, you know, you gotta poke around and find stuff. Um, the King's Quest series, as in uh, the, the older ones, are actually kind of well known for um, being able to screw you over by um, having things that you're supposed to do, but you really have no way of knowing. Odd structure. I don't think that this game has that problem. I think that they cleared that out um, in this one, and really, I I think it's all for the better um, that you can't kind of get screwed over in that way, where like hours in, you realize that there's something you should have gone and you should have done like way back. Um, which I think, um, contributed a lot to the death of the adventure game genre is just the fact that, uh, the games really screwed you over a lot. But, um, I only know so much. I've kind of read secondhand accounts of kind of what happened there. This potion will render me invisible to those lesser evil beings who would attack me. Nice. I really kind of like the wizard's theme. It's, it's kind of floaty and mysterious. It's nifty. No, a magical quill. We can always count on you to make the clever observations, Connor. When Jupiter Connor. converges with Leo upon the firmament dome, the astral light will expand thy knowledge and unmask for thee the revelation of hidden things. Yeah, sure he doesn't need this. And, um, the firmament, uh, it just means stick it in the globe. Zounds! What sort of magic <laughs> is this? Uh, I don't know why, but that's just funny to me. Zounds! This potion will reveal for me objects of deception, illusion, or invisibility. I don't actually know if you use this potion all that much. 
Um, this is something I actually did find on my own when I first played the game, but I have been looking through a guide just to kind of keep things moving along. And so you can actually find something in this room with this ability. Bell. What do we do with a bell? Uh, you may already have a guess. Whoa! Connor's looking pretty bad there. Yikes. He's turned into a golem. Anyway, um... <laughs> I think it's the effect of the potion is kind of giving him that weird texture. Uh, the creepy glowing eyes are on purpose, I think. It's invisibility vision. Aye, the bell belongs here. Yep, that's what this odd structure is for. Holy shit! Oh, th thanks. To the yeah. champion, eternal. Totally wasn't afraid that she was going to just stab me or anything. Yeah. Um, but no. Um, Twas the Lady of the Lake. Assuredly, my quest will now be successful. Yeah, now we got a better weapon. I think you can hit these bats. But I'm sure I'll just embarrass myself trying to, especially with a melee weapon. And then he just drops an axe on the ground. He's like, oops, done with that. Um... Still need the axe though. Yeah. Huh. Pretty much, uh. Should have seen that coming. Um. I'm trying to think of what order I should do this in. Uh, and we should switch back to running mode. Because I don't, I don't want this to be, um. Just watching me run back and forth. Um, I think I'll go ahead and take on the keep with the axe in hand rather than uh, going back for it after I've used it. But I'll get I'll get the um, the sword. Up, 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 up. I don't know if this really goes any faster. But I like to imagine that it does. Whoa, 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 whoa. of death, find the door of divine origin. The urn will reveal the way. You know, Connor seems pretty cool about this whole ghost abruptly emerging from a tomb. Hmm. The tomb of Sir James of Daventry. Hmm. The famous knight of many years are gone. Time to do some tomb looting. I don't know why an axe can take on a metal grate, but... This must be the sarcophagus of Sir James. This must be the sarcophagus of Sir James. Should I feel bad about this? Ugh. Give me, great knight. But I may have need of your ring. For reasons that haven't been explained yet. Uh, yeah, I'm saving myself some time by gathering an item or two that I will need later. I'm not just doing this to be an asshole. Maybe a little bit. I think he'd be upset about that. Why didn't his zombie rise? Is it because he's a hero? 
and therefore immune to its effects, or... The old castle keep of Daventry. I should search it thoroughly. Or are the souls of the people who died still in their bodies and they've become angered? Or something. I think they noticed me. Well, let's do this. Okay, I could have handled that better, but you know. Did the job. Yeah, there's a bit of an ambush waiting for you here, which is a little annoying, but you know, you do what you can. The mushrooms really aren't that good when you get right down to it. Um Let's see. I'm trying to think of ahead of time of what we're gonna need to do. Don't think there's actually all that much uh, going on in the castle right now, except um, for something we need to get at the top. If it is at all within my power, I shall liberate you from this vile condition, good man. Hmm, wait a second. What's this? What's in here? What? What's in here? I don't see anything in here. It seems like just a empty hidden room somehow this wall looks a bit different huh what is it I, I can't see it it's money wow that's a real camera fail there this thing's crawling with spriggans Of course, I accidentally fall off, ruin everything. Ruined our climactic fight, the Spriggan. Come over here, you asshole. Okay. Wow, nice, nice balance, mushrooms. Okay, um, things are gonna get a little bit trickier from. Ooh, 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 ooh. Wanna be careful there. This is a pretty small fort when you get right down to it. Hello there. Whew. Did... Did... did no. no. What, what fell off the edge? Will offer some protection. Hey, there's another one over there I completely missed. I think I can get a clean shot on this guy. Oh, screw it. Wait, he didn't... Did he see me or not? the edge. Hey, wait. There's a mushroom here, right? It's, uh... Right? I guess it fell inside his body. Oh, okay. At least we got it. Not that a single mushroom is that big a deal. Mm. Oh, I missed this one. Alright, let's see what uh, what items fell on the ground here. Oh, see, it's good that, good that we caught this one. Sacred water contains excellent healing qualities. Sacred water and then the elixir of life. Um, there's another interesting place we want to visit. We can't do anything with it, but yeah, this is a place. Pathetic beast, why so sad? A pox on thee! 
I am a magnificent unicorn, not a pathetic beast. A unicorn? I, although woe is me, I have lost my horn and my appearance besides. Pray, good creature, how could such occur? In the name of Bedlam, sir, I was simply eating grass when a horrible tempest struck and tossed me violently. After it cleared, whilst I was momentarily confused and muddled, a vile swamp witch crept out of yon pond and swiped my horn. The loss of it hath rendered me a most hideous beast, as thou canst plainly see. So, would the recovery of your horn change you back to a unicorn? Indubitably. My true form This is the height of the facial animation in this game, people. Glory. Well, good beast, I cannot promise, but if by happenstance I spy your horn during my travels, I will return it to you. I am grateful, sir. Although I will not hold out much hope. That sounds pretty heroic. If it's if I find it around, I'll see if I can see about getting it, maybe. Pro tip, uh, don't run around in green water. Trust me on this one. Uh, the swamp is actually an area we will visit later on, uh, where we will see a lot more green water. Um, so that will be pleasant. In fact, the swamp is actually um, the area where my very first playthrough went pretty awry. Um, because an interesting detail is you notice that um, the saves in this game, they're basically save states. Um, and that is good and bad. It's good because you can save anywhere. And it's bad because if you save right after you have died, you are screwed. You are completely and totally fucked. Um, and in fact, I did this once by accident because I kind of had a habit of automatically just going to the menu and loading as soon as the death animation started. And I clicked save instead of load, and I saved my game before I realized my mistake. And so basically, I had a save in which the only thing that could happen is that Connor would burn horribly to death and then die, and if I loaded up again, he would burn horribly to death and die. Um, it was, it pretty much sucked. Um, but I did actually end up going through the game from the very beginning and restoring, um, my save game. Um, that was a bit of a... Hello there. Yeah, this was the guy I fought in the water before and lost all of this which does kind of suck. Um, so yeah, kind of careless on their part that you can in fact just save and carelessly screw yourself over completely. Um, so I guess you could consider that a kind of bug. But anyway, um, there's one, uh, one more place we need to visit here. Um, and once we're done with this, we can start moving on if it is at all within my power, I shall liberate you from this vile condition, good man. Um, once we're done with our, uh, errand here, we can go ahead it and, worked. um, get on with heading to the Dimension of Death. And how do we get to the Dimension of Death from a small town like this, you might ask? And, um, the ghost actually gave us a hint, um, it said, uh, something about divine, something, something, uh, the urn will reveal the way. Um, that clue all, honestly doesn't really mean much to you until after you've done it, but it'll, it'll make sense in good time. Can we, um, uh, get up? I guess I have to jump. Yeah, you can't get through here uh, when the waterfall is going because it's too heavy. Um, I think I'm gonna save. Um, you can when, as soon as you see the waterfall, your first suspicion is that there's a secret passage behind it, and you're right. But you can't just walk through because because of that. Mm -hmm. And the loading screens are not this too bad. This must be Castle Daventry. Now to find the king. I don't think there are really any hazards in Castle Daventry. 
Uh, although I may turn out to be wrong, so I suppose it could not hurt to have have my axe out. I am not close enough. What? Really? Jeez, picky picky. So dramatic. Someone really pumped up this soundtrack. Um, and this guy would be the hero of the very first King's hmm. Quest game. That portrait of King Graham looks slightly off-center. Really? Hmm. That portrait of King Graham looks slightly off-center. What goes here? And I need this key. And we're gonna need these ashes, which look really obvious here. Um, and you see this scene in the intro. Um, your crossbow is no match against this evil power. I shall not stop until you are free to walk once again. Even your sword could not save you from this affliction. I know not how, but I shall save you from this evil plight. Yeah, you see this scene where they're using the magic mirror and they see, they look into the, the king looks into the magic mirror with his advisor, I think, and they see the dude in the temple, the sky temple thing, break the mask, and then they turn to stone. Alas, even King Graham was no match against the evil magic. I vow to you, my lord, with all my heart, that I will place myself in mortal jeopardy before giving in to the vile forces which hold you in thrall. I swear it. Connor's kind of given to theatrics, isn't he? I vow I will not stop, sir, until you walk our sweet land once more. You and the good people of Daventry deserve nothing less. Ah, uh, but the magic mirror, now that's of interest. Look at that. Mortal. Dost thou presume to foil me? Ha! Go run to thy mother, stripling. What? Who are you? <laughs> oh, that was a useful conversation. Uh, so that would be the big bad of this game, whose name escapes me. Um, but yeah, he's the one guy who commands the... Uh, the henchmen we ran into earlier, you can tell they kind of have a similar uh, outfit. Um, he's a pretty bad dude. Um, basically, uh, he um, he was one of the disciples of this mystical temple that protected the um, the Mask of Eternity, and he kind of turned turned evil. He he betrayed them in order to take the power of the mask or, or something, I don't know. Uh, basically, he broke the MacGuffin, and we need to fix the MacGuffin to defeat him. Um, I need to get my keys straight. I think I'm gonna save. Um, so you may wonder what we need, random stuff like ashes and the uh, dead guy's ring for. You will find out in due time. Um, I'm thinking if I want to go back to the fort and use the key, I may as well, but I don't think it's going to do us a lot of good right at the moment. Um, but I am here to show off this game, um, and I think, I think we do need to have that door unlocked. Ooh, whoa, 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 what's going on here? Getting a little jumpy here. I think we're good. Uh, I actually don't know if you're seeing the, uh... Whoops. If you're seeing the, um... Uh, choppiness that I had there. It's it's hard to tell. Frap sometimes... Um, doesn't... Show some things that I see, as we saw in my EG playthrough. Uh, so these, um... These handles here will turn off the traps leading up to the door. That is a dead end. Or is it? No, it's a dead end. Um, and we need to get to the other door. This place is creepy. I really want to get out of here because it's so gloomy. Let's go to the dimension of death. 
at least around there, the dead are a bit more lively and uh, more interesting to talk to. Um, no. A place to use my map. I can magically transport from here. Um, of course, you can't actually magically transport because there is nowhere else to go. Um, but once, now that we've done that, we've kind of connected that to any future teleports we may find. We will want to return to here later, because remember, we want to return the unicorn's horn. Um, and there's, uh, I think there's other stuff that we might want to, I'm trying to remember. If there are other incomplete side quests that we want to return to here for, I think it's just the unicorn's horn. Which, we will get the chance to do something about that later. Um, and now we should head to the church, because, um, if we head to the church, and th this is me kind of skipping things a little bit, but, uh, honestly, um, the game does kind of leave you to flounder a little bit and just kind of find your own way, um, because it's not entirely clear that the primary goal right now is to get into the church. Um, I guess the ghost hint kind of does help you. Maybe, I don't, I'm trying to remember if it actually did help me when I was playing this, because I know all this now. But basically, um... Alack! The evil tempest has damaged the church. Now the door is blocked. Is alack a thing people actually said? Um, as you can see, you can't chop this apart. I don't know why you can't. But you can climb up here to get into the church. There's a hole in the ceiling. So you see, geez, it's really bad at the corner. Uh, it kind of sometimes, sometimes it'll go away. Um, and sometimes it's not so bad, but eh, when he's climbing, it looks really bad. And I hope, I hope it's not too much of a distraction. Um, I can kind of just ignore it, but, you know, wow, yeah, that's bad. Um, I, I, I just kind of accept it as kind of a quirk of dealing with a very old game um, that doesn't play so well on modern operating systems. But if it does become an issue, um, I, I don't, I honestly don't know if I'd be able to do anything about it, but I guess I could try. Um, not even a priest is immune to this vile affliction which infects us. Okay, so that, that actually upon, makes sense. That you shall walk upon our fair land once more while there is still breath left in me. Alms for the poor. Hmm. You can tell he's thinking about it. I wonder if I could chop this open. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if I could. I guess Connor isn't that much of a jerk. Uh, so this is the urn, and is there anything on here that I, um, I guess I don't see a book or anything. Come on. So, um, here's my question. For how long has there been a whirling portal to hell in the mausoleum? Is that something that the church just kept around? Or is that a new development since the darkness uh, swept over the land? I don't know. Uh, that just, um, we're never given any real explanation for why there is a whirling hell portal in the mausoleum. It doesn't... Is it just like the critical mass of dead people created this portal, I, I guess? It is a, kind of a center piece of death. So in a metaphysical sort of way, it does kind of make sense. I really don't know. Um, you see, I also picked up another item, the candle. Um, and it'll all, this will all become clear um, in a moment. But for now, we are of course going to leap into the hell portal. Because why the hell not? Maybe we'll run into the run into uh, the Space Marine from Doom along the way. Um, and this is an example of where I said, remember I mentioned um, 
that different textures will get used with the uh, glitch. Uh, if you look close, the texture glitch happening here is actually a tile of water. Uh, you can see the kind of the rocky shore gra gravel, I guess. That's uh, actually kind of unsettling to stare at, just a whirling water texture. That, that's actually kind of bothering me more than actual look of the portal. I don't know why. I think I'll save. Did it? No. I... See, you, you can really easily accidentally click the wrong one. It's uh, something to be careful. It would have really wasted a lot of time if I could load by mistake. It's good that I caught that. Um, so here's a disquieting thought for you. You know the zombies we fought in the graveyard? Those were just the ones that could get out. <laughs> Let's go. I think it should be using different weapon, music. It passed right through it. Oh well. Egad, dark monster. Twas neither flesh nor blood. What now? Raven, you watch me. Why? It's like Connor's wearing a stone suit. I really don't quite get what's going on here. I really wish I understood this glitch a little bit better. Because I'm kind of fascinated by things like that. Good wizard, I beseech you, give me guidance. I have discovered the portal to the dimension of death, but upon entering it, have encountered a foul beast of darkness. Aye, the dimension of death. It is said a monstrous shadow bane guards the threshold, and that it cannot be slain by any weapon. It can only be dispelled through the means of magical illumination. But where can such be found? I can concoct a magical illumination spell, lad. Go, bring me a flame from a sacred place, the ring of a dead hero, and the ashes of a torch. Aye, Sir Wizard. Will be done. Ah, you see? You see? Pardon me, good wizard, but may I inquire again those items which I must gain and return uh, okay. to you? Seek you a flame from. Lo, I have obtained a sacred flame from the church. Sure, they weren't using work, it. Lad. Okay, I guess they probably weren't because they're all turned to stone. Sir Wizard, I have gained a ring from a noble knight long deceased. Aye, tis good, lad. I have found torch ashes. Will this work? Aye, lad. Twill work wonders. Good. All three items. Now, lad, behold. By all the spirits of the light, brighten the darkness of the night. Is that all it takes? It's kind of corny. Still no fingers. I guess it'll do. Thank you, good wizard. Your help has been immeasurable. May we meet again in better times. So my question is, where did this wizard come from? I mean, Connor's lived here all his life, and he doesn't appear to know this wizard, so you'd think he kind of, um, is a recent visitor. But on the other hand, he has a whole wizard tower here, and it has his theme, so it must be his tower. Is it just that he lives in the tower and never leaves? Is is that it? Like, I don't know. You'd think that he'd at least have some familiarity, like, he must be the wizard who lives in the tower. Or something, I don't know. It's, it's just kind of... Hmm. I don't know. I guess it's really not important, but... Oh, maybe the tower belongs to a different wizard. 
Um, so, um, I didn't bother to, to gear up when I went through the portal the first time, and as you know now, it's because it just kicks you back here. But now that, um, we have the Ring of Illumination, I do believe we are actually going in for real this time to the Dimension of Death. So I think I've got everything. I've got my, uh, badass sword from the lake, which is not rusted or anything, because I guess it's magic. And I have my crossbow. I don't think there's any other ranged weapons we can get. I think I'm good. Let's go for it. Yeah, see, this is how you know. Uh, this is actually a place where the game can crash, apparently. I think that the installer I got uh, fixes that. You're awfully smug, Connor. We should hope it works. Dang. Ho! Oh, the magical light worked. The monster is dispelled. I have passed through. Tis the dimension of death. Uh, so yeah, this is the dimension of death. I think it's actually pretty kind of awesome. And I also think, if I remember my perusing of the guide, that I'm about to get jumped by skeletons. Um, and we will go ahead with that the next time, because I think this is a pretty good place to call it. Uh, I have no idea how long this video is, but I think it's gone pretty long, so I guess I'll see if that's a reasonable length or not. Anyway, I'll see you next time in the Dimension of Death.